Oh, there's a huge one. <laughs> no, this little guy is taking my bait somewhere. What do I do? I usually give it a big twitch to scare the big one, uh, the small ones away. Okay. And then just trying to wait for the big one to come out. Oh. That's a fish. Oh, that's a fish chasing it now. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah. See that thicker line. Yeah. Yeah. That's a fish biting it now. Okay. Oh, um, I have a fish on. Whoa, huh? whoa, whoa! It's not fast. <laughs> <laughs> whoa! Uh, that was a lot faster than that I thought. That was quicker than I thought yeah. it was going to be. Okay. So you take this out. Okay. Yeah, that's great. All right. And uh. What? What else? <laughs> no, no, you're good. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was fast. That was really quick. Yeah. Holy moly. This fish is biting. Yeah. Oh. Okay, that's pretty oh. big. Oh. Yeah, we can keep that actually. Yeah. This is a really good sized fish. Nice. Yeah. We'll put a bait on it so you can try it. Okay. <laughs> Drop it down a little bit. Reminder, how do I do, do oh, that? Oh, so you just open, you just open this up. Open that guy, right? Yeah. And uh, let it down. It's not very deep, yeah. right? So, like yeah, that. on the bottom, just bring it up a little bit. Yeah. Um, a little bit more. Yeah, see how it's uh, just stay right there? So, you want to be on the bottom half. Maybe that's the one I that saw. Was the one. That was the yeah. other yeah. one right here. That was here. the one that you saw earlier <laughs> yeah, when you had maybe, your face yeah. down there. Just uh, feel, feel your line. You might feel a tug, or the line might go loose because it's picking it up. Oh, it's oh. picking Yeah. So, at the next it's, tug? Yeah. It, uh, it's gonna be a hard set when you do okay. feel hard, a uh, hard take. We'll come to the first day of the ice fishing season in 2022. Um, I'm, we're really excited because uh, it's mid-November. It's well, November 21st. So this is the earliest start I've, I can remember in the last uh, several years. So um, ice is ready. Um, the ice is about five inches thick. So it's there's plenty, it's really safe. And with me today is my friend Erin again. So last time you saw her and uh, she was fishing with me in the spring last year in Merritt too. And we caught some rainbow trout. But today we're going, to, we're going for Eastern Brook trout, Eastern Brook char. Uh, you never caught one before. So this will be another first. My, my first drop got, got a fish right away. away. I was uh, kind of surprised, yeah. And, uh, and she lost one just now. So yeah, it's been a good start so far. Oh, wait, 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 oh. there's fish. So, give it just a small jig up, lift up a little bit and bring it down. Oh, it's coming, it's coming. <laughs> You'll feel it. These are uh, Eastern Brook Trout uh, stored by the Freshwater Fisheries Society of BC and you can find them in quite a few different lakes around Merritt. Um, these fish are sterile, so they're completely for anglers to catch and keep. Um, this particular fish is about three years old. They go into the lake about roughly about this big as fingerlings. So after two or three years in the lake, they get to about this big, about 16 inches long, between one and two pound heavy and this perfect for eating. Um, they do get a little bigger than that. You can catch them up to five pounds or maybe bigger. But uh, this is kind of like the average size and it's good eating size as well. I'll try this one again. Oh yeah, yeah. I feel like that one has like the best chance. Oh, there was a fishy. Maybe... Oh, you saw one? There was one, oh, yeah. Okay. Oh. Oh, oh, there it is. Uh oh, I need to take the glove off, but oh. I can't. <laughs> Gloves on there. I can't. I can't take the glove off. Oh, this is also. It's a big fish. You can't take the glove. I, I, I can't. Can it's okay. I, can, I got it off there. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, that is really awkward. Do we have to take the sounder to, out. Uh, put the uh, put the rod further down too. Yeah. And 
Oh, 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 there you yeah, go. Yeah, this one. <laughs> oh. Uh, yeah. This one. <laughs> this brook trout. Look at the size difference. They get a couple inches bigger. Oh, wow, yeah. Like how, how the girth is like so yeah. much bigger, eh? Big one, huge one, huge fish, huge fish. <laughs> oh my goodness. That was, oh. Do you have all the things you need in there? Yeah, yeah. It's all good, I got my GoPro filming too, so. Oh my goodness, this is a big fish. Oh, oh, that's a big fish. That's a big fish. Oh my God, that's a big fish. <laughs> that's a big fish. <laughs> Wow, <laughs> that was a nice one. This one's even bigger, it's about three pounds. Yeah, I just came in and smashed it. It's only about like three or four feet deep there and I just, <laughs> well, I guess big fish do hang around the shallows. Ooh. <laughs> As you can see, it's the end of the day now. Um, yeah, it's about just past four o'clock. It's pretty dark and we've done pretty well today. Look at that. We just had the, the last hour, so the baits have been really on in the shallow water, in four feet of water. We could see um, both small fish and big fish coming in, just whacking onto the bait. And they're still biting. I got my limit, so I'm just taking a break. Hopefully Aaron will get a few more fish and we'll wrap up the day. And we still got tomorrow. Can't wait. Okay, back in Merritt at our Airbnb, and we decided to eat up some of uh, the fishes we caught today. We got um, a couple of fillets on mayo with uh, seasoned salt and brown sugar. And I'm gonna cook a few more up with a, maybe a different recipe. And here are the rest of the fish. Look at that. Good day. What do you say? <laughs> Mmm, <laughs> mayo! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, so so you, you've you never had uh, mayo on fish, so you, nope. you're quite skeptical. Never. Yeah, yeah, so we're gonna... In theory, I, I can see why it works. Yeah, so we're gonna try it out. I, I've tried this many times with salmon, with trout. Um, yeah, it, it just goes really well together. Okay, so the recipe for the fish was um, 15 minutes baked at 370. Fahrenheit? 350. 350? 370, yeah, around that. And uh, then just finish off by broiling for a couple minutes. Your first um, meal experience with fish. It is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the fish is nicely mm. cooked. better than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, it's really good. Really? Yeah, it's really good. Yeah. Hmm. It doesn't taste like mayo. <laughs> no, it doesn't, no. It's, yeah. Uh, it, yeah. That's what I was kind of afraid of. Yeah. If well, anything, mind you, you the, the fish is, this is like really good fish as well. Yeah, so. that's true. <laughs> yeah. 
Ja, ist gut. The flavor of the fish itself is really good. Mm -hmm. Like I can, yeah. And the texture too is really fat and yeah. Can't wait to catch more tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna put it over that now. Okay, we're back out for day two, but it's snowing. It's pretty heavy actually, so we quickly set up the tent and we're gonna be fishing inside today. A couple other people just joining us over there now. Um, so far, I have one little one that took my bait and I saw a big one swimming by. So it's eight o'clock in the morning, it's prime time. Let's get going. Oh, there's a little one. Oh, oh damn it. He missed I it. lost it, yeah. I felt him, I saw him. The bait got uh, Yeah, he took the bait. It got oh. My, it got oh, you got yours. Yeah. <laughs> got it. Oh, no, maybe yeah. that was the little yeah, one maybe, I saw yeah. earlier. Yeah. Oh, just give it a jig, give it a jig, a little jig. See if it comes around. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's not interested. Um, oh, don't want this. Oh, oh, oh. No, you, you're, you're okay. Fine. You're fine. Okay. Yep. Okay, put your rod further down. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> Stop. No, my bait. Get off. Oh, there's a huge one. <laughs> no, this little guy's taking my bait somewhere. There it is. Um, okay, there's a big one. Right, come around now. No. Let's go. Oh, another little one got it. Yep. Oh, the big one's definitely following them. Yeah. So, um... I usually... What do I do? I usually give it a big twitch to scare the big one, uh, the small one. Yeah. Okay. And then just trying to wait for the big one to come in. Oh! What do you have? Oh, you got a big it's one! It's a big one, you I know. Okay. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh my god! Okay. Slaying them this morning. That's awesome. It's so much fun. Yeah. <laughs> There's lots, lots of. There's just one, one okay. big one. I see a little one in my hole There's right like now. So many small ones, but this one has grabbed it. Uh, ah. Yeah. No, <laughs> the big one didn't grab it. <laughs> I've gotten out of the way. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, two fish for me and uh, three fish for Aaron here. Doing pretty good so far this morning. 8.30 only and uh, it looks like we're going to prime time. Oh, it's going, it's going for you. Is it? You see it? Oh, you see it, Oh, right? oh I see, see him, it. I see him. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, I see it's him It's huge, yeah. Oh. Got one? Yeah! yeah that's like good enough for people. I got it. Oh, he's, is he heading towards the bait? Yep, totally yeah. hit the bait. Hits, hit my hand first. <laughs> <laughs> this one's still, oh yeah, oh, I guess. He's pretty one, good. Yeah, this one's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Still not as big as that one. That last one, one, yeah. yeah no, I feel like he's big for a reason. <laughs> he's a massive fish. He knows what he's doing. Yeah. Yeah, how do you make it more attractive? I know, right? <laughs> different kind of bait, different kind Maybe. of lures. Maybe. Yeah. I haven't seen any fish coming out at the tent for about half an hour now. So I'm venturing out in the snow to, uh, to find fish. I've had quite a few fish showing up on the sounder, but they're not biting.
Just knows another one. Uh, so I lost two, and uh, I've seen at least five or six fish going by. Nice. I think I'm gonna try to reset the tent. So they're still showing up here. You got it? Okay. So the fish are not as hungry now, and we're hungry, so we're gonna do some uh, cooking here. Got some brunch going, got some mini sausages, got some scrambled eggs and uh, English muffin. So um, usually in the middle of the day, the bites totally die off, so we're gonna take advantage of that. Um, get some food before the bites come back on again around, I guess, one or two o'clock until dark. So, so far so good. We got, what, six fish? You landed. Oh, you got four. I got. Oh, right. Yeah, you yeah, kept I four so far. One. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I kept two. So we've seen some really big ones that uh, have been very stubborn. Uh, so far, I need some kind of meat. The ones we kept are uh, all medium sized ones. So, yeah, no complaints. So. It's a big one. Oh no, 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 no. No, oh, the bait fell off. Oh no, that's that's really big. Is your bait still on? Yeah, my bait's still on. Okay, so it might it's going back to you now. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. It like had the whole bait in its mouth and Oh! 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 Did you get my line? Oh 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 oh. Oh, 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 oh. It's all good. I'll let you go and <laughs> You got my line too, so yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just let you um, just pick it up. Oh yeah, that's that's a big one. That that I think you might want to keep that. Pretty slow going, but we're catching some quality fish. Well, this day just getting better and better. Erin's already got her limit for the day, and uh, so she's taking her time, relaxing now, and might catch and release a few more fish for her. I still got a few more fish to uh, reach my daily quota. Yeah. Overall, it's definitely slow in the middle of the day now, but there are fish still coming in and out here once in a while. What we're using today, it's gonna show you my Shimano highest fishing setup. This is a Sedona 500 spool with a 10 pound test Power Pro uh, braided line. And uh, I tie a section of um, Sega fluorocarbon six pound test, nice and thin. Um, because these fish are not super big, we're talking about fish between one and three pound, maybe four pound. And then I tie a jig head, a tungsten, VMC tungsten jig head on it, like a size maybe 132 jig head uh, with a tiny hook on it, and just kind of tip with a tiny piece of shrimp that has been cured with parsley bait fire cure, so it's pink. And that has been working really well. And I've also used some artificials as well. Use a little tiny, um, what do you call it? Like little jig, little grub, tail, and they're biting into that as well. Nothing as big as yesterday though. Yesterday we got one fish that was, uh, I got one fish that was 18 inch. Today we saw a, a few just as big as that, but they were being stubborn. They're not really biting on too low. So but I'm hoping this afternoon it could be a repeat as um, of yesterday so yeah might move closer to the shallows um, as it gets a little darker because that's where the fish should be but for now at seven feet we're getting the old fish coming by oh 
Yeah. Oh, it just came in and nice. yeah, that's a. Oh. oh. <sighs> I think my hook's bent. Nina. Hello. Hello. Good. Oh, there's big one coming. Okay. Um. Oh wait 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 wait. Oh wait. No 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 just don't be don't be. I just made you stay there for one second. Oh that that is a massive fish. What the heck? Wait 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 wait. Just, just stay there. Yeah. 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 Yeah, like I gotta go, I gotta go. Oh, I lost it, I lost it, I lost it. No, I, I got it, I still got it. I still got it. Oh, no, is it big? Look at that, like, swallow the worm. That's some more fish to clean. So this last fish rounds up our daily quarter for the day. So this 17 inch long brook trout. This fish here um, almost outsmarted us. It came by at least five or six times looking at the bait and I uh, just kind of turned away in the last second. I was getting quite uh, antsy, just couldn't hook it. But eventually he got so hungry, I guess, and uh, couldn't resist our little tiny shrimp. And yeah, it's been a really good day. Ten fish kept, and uh, they're excellent for eating, um, as I say earlier last night. So yeah, if you want to come out to ice fish, it's pretty simple. Make sure you get your freshwater fishing license in BC, and uh, you just need a few, you know, a couple of ice fishing rods, a drill. A, uh, a tent is nice to keep you warm on days like this and uh, yeah it's very very fun with friends and family so thanks for watching everyone uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel i really appreciate your support and uh, if you have any other questions regarding ice fishing in this province um, please leave a comment on the bottom i really um, i'll always take my time to answer your questions and until next time good luck fishing